Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to be going and taming up a Utai, and we will also be trying to breed up some Pyromanes here. Um, I've kind of got an idea of what I want to do. Where did I get a Pterodon egg from? I got a feeling one of these guys is going to attack me. Was it you? Did you lay this egg? I think it's you laid this egg, but yeah. So we're going to go get a Utai. We're going to go breed up some Pyromanes, and what I have planned to do... For the boss fight is we're just going to get a Pyromane's army. And we're going to get a Utai. I'm not going to worry about uh, Deodons. Because the Pyromane's kind of don't need it. And yes, I do realize that there is water in the boss arena. And the Pyromane's will work as long as I don't have them go in the water. Okay? So, yeah. Um. Now, I have already gone and flown around the Arctic biome to get a Utai to spawn in. At least a decent level one. Now, luckily for me, here on the center, it does seem like 150s are actually pretty common. I just actually have to go over into the areas and load them up. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the map I come to, to uh, actually go do my like genetic library. Or to finish off the genetic library, you know, where I get the perfect breeding pairs like these guys. Where uh, If you guys did watch the previous episode where we actually tamed the pyromane. Uh, we actually went through and bred them up later in that episode until we got these guys. Now, as you can see, their stats are the same, their colors are the same. And I also have a lot of creatures like that. Like, I mean, Blossom here, I can even just show you it. Again, she came from a genetic library where this was these two, her parents, were the end result. I mean, that's what the goal is. So, anyways, let's just hop to it here. Now, I would love to have one of my Utahs from the Genetic Library, because that's something I went and did for uh, the Overseer, honestly. I didn't have to, but I decided that we we're going to go refight the Overseer the week before we came over to the center, and it was it was worth it. We got the Explorer note for it. I ain't going to lie. It has been taking so long in flight here recently. That it is insane. I've gotten so used to flying on the back of wyverns or phoenixes, you know, things that are extremely, extremely fast. And I mean, I need something like that on a huge map like this. A pterodon is a pretty fast mount, I ain't gonna lie. But, uh, yeah, this, this isn't cutting it. This is far from cutting it. Okay, so... We got our Utai down here. I'm not really too worried about their stats. This one here, I believe, does already have a good health stat on it, if I checked. Yeah, it's got a 29, which will hopefully come out over 40. I'm not too worried about it, honestly, because I just need it for a boss fight. If we lose it, that's fine. Okay? I got better ones that I will get access to after the boss fight. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to take all my water off. That'd be a stupid idea. Let's do that. Um, mm, how do I want to do this? Because I feel like I'm going to have to pick off the Carnos. Let's actually... Alright, yeah. I got a plan then. We will set up the trap like so. Is that the right way? Yeah. Okay, then we leave those two off, then let's go. I actually have to hop off to use bear traps, damn it. Okay, please no dire wolves attack me. Oh, the mammoths, like, they make a weird noise now that I'm not used to. I haven't really gotten used to them. Like, also, the mammoths look so good in ASC, or in ASA, sorry. In ASC, they look the same, but they don't, it, they don't have the same, like, touch to them. Like, they got a, I don't know if they got a, like, a little tiny bit of a TLC. Also, here's what we need to do here. Pterodon, I know for a damn fact you're gonna get scared here. Uh, Pyromane, I know for a fact. Yeah, we'll just leave that egg there. I'm not too worried about it. I don't know for a fact at all if you will make it but what I can do is start picking off these carnos okay I need to be careful here 
because that's my Utai. Okay, why aren't you moving? Alright, like, come on. Did he get re-scared? You just ran off a cliff! Oh my god. Stop. Oh my god, dude. You just ran off two cliffs. What the fuck? Are you okay? I'm more worried about your health there. I had no control over that. Also, I'm, I need to quit cussing in videos. Also, did not mean to do this. I am so sorry. I just attacked that small family of mammoth. Or, I just attacked that small mammoth family. Not really small, they're quite large. Uh, but I need to figure out how to get back up there. Uh, yeah. I need to, like, shoot the Carnos. Okay, we're back up here. We're gonna give this a second whack. Give it a... I don't know what that sound is. I think that's the pterodon. Or something else. Oh, there's penguins right there. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, what we're gonna do here is approach on foot. I believe my armor will protect me from a lot of the damage here. I don't know what level these Carnos are. Okay, you tie. I know I can outmaneuver you. I need to find your Carno buddies. Okay, not good. Not a good time for lag. What the hell? I've been noticing that here recently on uh, the center. I've been getting a huge lag spikes, especially in certain areas. Okay, game, let me run. Okay, that's the 140. Let's focus you. Oh, I just got launched. We still got one Carno, right? No? Okay. Let's lead you up to the trap. Oh, I believe... I believe in my armor. I can't really see anything. You can actually see my armor getting damaged. It's slowly breaking. There goes my pants. No, no. How the f... You know what? I'm pretty sure he can go through those actually now. And I'm pretty sure the mammoths just aggroed onto him. Oh no, it was a dire wolf. I'm going to do something here I probably should have started doing a little bit ago. And that is actually just... Uh... Do I have any grapple hooks on me? I'm going to let him just, my armor, take some damage here. I really shouldn't. It costs a lot to repair, and I'm not even sure if I have it. Come on. Oh, damn it. See. Okay. Here's the problem. Wait, that works? This should not work. I'm still connected. Okay, that's gonna be straight into rock. I need to shoot right there. First person's probably gonna be the best for a shot here. Have I cut the line? Yeah. I cut the line just in case he starts running. So that way I can still, still, you know, chase after him. Okay, what's going on here, gun? It wouldn't fire for a second, I don't know why. We're going to give it a little bit of a delay here. I don't know what was with that trap. I thought he would fit through it. He's running. You got to be kidding me. Oh. I might have to start killing things with the Pyromane here in a second. As soon as you're knocked out. Also, 
Damn it, I didn't want this. Yeah, focus the baby. Oh, no, don't focus the baby, man. That might cause us some problems. I got another 5,000 to go here. I'm looking for mammoths. There's a saber tooth. Where is the Utah? Damn, he moves quick. Because now he's actually booking it because of Torpor. As long as I can land... There's a two baby T-Rexes. That means there's a parent T-Rex somewhere. I'm not lying. God damn it. Do not hit... I thought I was about to hit that mammoth in the head with an arrow. There we go. Let's keep at this. He's real close. One more arrow should do it. He should pass out. I'm going to do one more for good luck. It's kind of a make sure arrow. There we go. That should guarantee him. Okay. Now. Come on. Oh, yeah, C. No, not C. Q. I can't remember the controls sometimes. Wait, what's going on here? Why can't I use you? Hi, Romaine. What the? I'm not even going to worry about it. You're knocked out. Um, I need mutton, don't I? I do. Or it's in your inventory. Inventory, right? Yes, I got raw prime meat. I don't have mutton, but that's what I got. I think I already did the research on it. I couldn't find any Ovis on this map. Also, what level are you guys? Level 55 T-Rex is running around. I don't know where Mama is. Um, that's why I really wish I could ride a pyro main right now. Because my arm... Like, what's going on, buddy? What's wrong? Transform. Thank you. Like... Why can't I use you? Okay. Now you work. I don't know what's with this thing. It's a little buggy. Honestly, I f it, the Pyromane, I'm going to be honest with you guys here. I like it, but it is totally a cash grab. And uh, the fact that it has abilities that are kind of make it broken in PvP, it's, yeah. It's definitely 100% a cash grab. I'm not going to lie. Also, I'm going to go pick up my trap here so that way I don't waste that resources. So I think it's sadly my trap no longer works on creatures that sized. Um, or, well, it's either the gates are larger or the Utai is smaller. And I'm thinking it's the gates are slightly larger. So now the Utai's can fit through. Um, in which, yeah. I know that trap will work on a Rex and it will work on a Giga and it will work on an Acro and it will work on a Serato. Oh, not a Serato, a car car. Also, you guys make a lot of noise, and I don't like it. So, anyways, I'm going to let this guy starve up a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to actually start tracking him via the... Via this. And I don't want to leave him... I don't want to leave him unattended, alright? So, we're going to add that, and we're going to... Not, not fly up anywhere. I guess we're just going to kind of hang out in the area on the pyro main. That seems like a smart idea. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to kind of just patrol the area here, wait for him to starve up, and then I'll give him some food. I'm going to be full honest with you guys. That Utah barely did any damage to my armor. Not one bit. Alrighty, so this thing just tamed. We're gonna go throw it in a cryopod. I ain't gonna lie, I just sat here the whole time, like, playing on my phone, waiting for this thing to tame. Nothing even came by. Which is what I expected. I already cleared out the whole area. The only things that I noticed that spawned in were penguins, and they're right over here. Where'd the penguins go? 
You hear them. They're in the gla- they're in the grass. Yeah. There's a bunch of penguins over here. Are they all juveniles? I guess- oh no, it's one parent and a bunch of juveniles. I mean, a quick kick start a No, no, no. We're closer to actually leaving. Or, we're actually being closer to transferring creatures than, like, taming creatures, so. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go start doing the pyro main farm. Which way is my house? It's this way. Sorry. Uh, I'm, again, very minimally played on the center back on ASE. And I only played PvP on it. And I'm not joking. My island is gone. So, well, it's there, but it's not there. It's it's sad, really. Uh, hold up, map. I have to hold... This is the wrong map. Okay. Let's close finder. So, this was the island that we, me and my friend used to... Uh, I guess we would take it over, and this would be our island. We would literally just build walls all around the perimeter. And I mean, one day, we even had guys come with gigas on a raft. And uh, this was before cryopods, even. And they messed our shit up. And we're pretty sure one of our tribe mates... I will even sell him out. Money man. You know who you are if you're watching this. Uh, yeah. He sold us out. I'm pretty sure. Told him where our base was and told him that we were all offline at the time. Or that there was only three of us online. I mean, when it was happening, we were messaging everyone like, get on. We are actively being raided. And they are gigas. They got guns that are one-shotting us. I mean... I had a, I mean, I had a shitty little revolver, and it did nothing to them. Like, seriously, nothing. Okay, guys, I also figured I should probably give you a heads up. I've kind of made up my mind on what we're going to do for this week, like, entirety. So today, again, we did the pyro, or we did the U-Tie taming, and now we're going to go do some pyro main breeding. Honestly, though, we're already at almost 20 minutes, so we might just start it, and then... Yeah, I might just go do, like, pop them all out off screen. I'm still, like, debate. I don't know how well I'm going to get imprinting on them. Because I don't have access to kibbles and all that. I'm hoping I get a couple cuddles and mostly walks. I know it's, uh, what was it? I think it's 50 or 25% per. We might actually have to go do that. Yeah, we'll figure that out today, this episode. Also, wait, ooh, ooh. Is that what I think it is? I mean, oh my god, that Archelon. I just noticed it. It is getting mobbed. Look at that. There's a 145 Archelon. It's getting mobbed. Ooh, it actually has pretty good stamina. Also, I already tamed Archelon. Is that a Shastasaurus down under the water there? Or is that a lead sick this? That's a lead sick this. I know a lead sick this anywhere. Yep. Ooh, 55. <gasps> Ooh. She might. Ah, oh, no, I need a 150. So, with no untamables, lead sick this is actually. Oh my god, I just ran out of stamina. I mean, we can swim. Pterodon, come on. We were close enough to home we could swim. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I ain't worried about it. So, anyways, I'm gonna get started on the uh, pyromane breeding. Also, I am sorry if this video is not that entertaining. I am trying my best. Um, I just noticed that this week that, like, this video probably wasn't gonna be that entertaining when I was thinking about it, but yeah. Also, looking back, uh, my artifact videos are doing pretty good, so I will actually, uh, probably be doing an artifact video tomorrow. Also, I figured I'd be giving you guys a heads up. I've been uh, looking into some new mods here recently while we've been, uh, you know, getting ready to do a settings video. And actually, we might actually have that be coming out either this week or the end of next week, depending on how things go. I got me a notebook and I need to start writing things down so that way I can actually, like, you know, properly build a proper video, you know. I'm going to try and make this as professional of a settings video as I can. Alright, like I'm going to even like have parts where I cut into the game. But uh, here recently I've been looking into new mods. And one of them, if I recall, 
added in a new tool called the mutator. Now, if you remember this from S+, Plus, it allowed us to mutate dinos and all that. And they even said here, hopefully, they will be adding in everything. So even the ability to change the gender. So, yeah. I haven't really got to play with it yet. They might, That might already be in the game. So, once we get access to transferring stuff over from the island, and mind you, the only things I'm thinking about allowing me to transfer from the island are exclusively the creatures. Mind you, uh, my personal creatures, so the named ones, the ones I have, like, Blight Blossom, or the Pyromane I have on my shoulder, or Larry, or not, I almost called you Larry. I'm so sorry. Uh, Littlefoot. I mean, we also have another guy named Larry, but, yeah. But, like, those guys. These are, like... Okay, are you, you guys good? Yeah. We got 50... Or another minute. Okay, so we got about 16 seconds here on a pyro main popping out. And we're gonna see, like, uh, what was it? We're gonna see what its imprint is, and then that's probably gonna be it for this video. Because I don't want this to run on too long, because I've been noticing you guys prefer shorter videos. So I'm going to aim for the 20 minute mark, but I'm also going to try and squeeze in as much, uh, you know, at least good or at least decent watchable content. Not me just rambling, you know. I do, like, understand a lot of people now do watch, like, watching me uh, get messed up by creatures. I've also been thinking about dropping down my gear or my loot settings for this uh, settings video. And, like, drop scrapping all my armor and redoing it with drops. Because, I honestly, some of my armor is ridiculous. Especially for the damage that creatures are outputting. So, we got seven, six and a half minutes here to wait. So, yeah. We'll fast forward here until this thing's ready for an imprint. I'm not going to lie. About the time I get one pyro main ready for an imprint, a second one comes out. Okay, so that's going to be a flat zero for you, so... Damn. I guess we got to wait another six minutes, because I can't feed that thing. I don't have superior kibble. Um, We'll try this. Does it reset with a cryopod? I'm pretty sure it doesn't anymore. They patched that. Yep, they patched that. I got another pyromane, and there's still... Three minutes on that one, and this one's going to pop out. I feel like I need to show more. Eh, no, I'll get an imprint out on this one before you pop out another one on me. What is with all of you wanting kibble? I don't have kibble. Why can't you just want to cuddle? What do you need? Four minutes. What do you need? Yeah, you're going to... Uh, I'll watch this guy and kind of have you in the background. Okay, finally, we got one that wants a cuddle. And, uh, yeah, it's 50%. Hopefully, this guy wants another cuddle. Sadly, these two are going to be a flat zero. And it seems like that's most likely what it's going to be. It's either zeros, 50, zero or 50 percent. And if we're extra lucky, it's going to be 100%. So, anyways, I'm going to kind of get hop into this and just kind of, uh... What was I going to do? I need... Because I am going to take that pyromane in. Because you're going to come with me. Um, so I need 18 pyromanes. One Utah. Yeah. So I need to pop out. E what, how many more? 14 more pyromanes. And hopefully get them all imprinted successfully. Also, it looks like these guys are laying down. And I wish that's no, not something I... Like, they can't do... Well, it's not something they're supposed to be able to do. But... Because uh, the way our creatures work, uh, especially babies, when they grow up, they really don't go up. They only, like, just grow and they actually, like, clip into the ground a bit. And, I mean, it looks awesome that they're laying down. I kind of want to get a... Ooh, this one's done. I kind of want to get a screenshot. Because that looks like a pyromane about to pounce. I mean, and that's not something... That, this one looks like it would be better because it looks like a pyromane relaxing. So, yeah. Anyways... If you guys have found yourself enjoying this episode and me rambling on, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell for some reason, so you guys get uh, notified upon me posting videos. 
And I am also running a membership goal. It's a dollar ninety nine to join the YouTube channel members. Uh, we're currently trying to reach ten members, and once we hit that goal, we will be opening up an Arc server. So yeah. Anyways, Ben Gun Shemori signing off, and I promise I will get better at doing these. I got me a notebook so I can write down a actual script to follow. Yeah.